Timothy Ray Brown was the first person to be cured of HIV. Let's talk about how his doctors did it. Mr. Brown had HIV, but also leukemia, and his doctor treated his leukemia with a bone marrow transplant. But what was really clever was that the bone marrow donor that the doctor chose was CCR5 negative. HIV infects T cells and eventually makes more virus. But if we look at this first step here, the door that HIV needs on our cells to get in is CCR5. And so without CCR5, HIV cannot enter our T cells and thus no infection. So these people that lack CCR5 are naturally resistant to HIV, but they're pretty rare in this world. So is there a way that we can, by design, create cells for bone marrow transplants that lack CCR5? That's where gene editing comes in. There is at least five ongoing clinical trials that test whether gene editing can be used to break CCR5 and develop an HIV treatment. Unfortunately, Mr. Brown did pass away in September 2020, so if you'd like, we can take a moment of silence for the contributions he made to medical science. The CCR5 story continues to this day, but in 2019 it got really dramatic, where the first CRISPR edited babies were made in China. And I'll talk about that in a future video, so hit that follow button.